Hello everyone, this is homework 2. Now, we had a heating plant in homework 1. We again have the same heating plant here. And we again have the same specifications actually. 10 seconds and 10% sweep or overshoot. And again, you are going to use the algebraic methods for the task below. Uh, please provide transfer functions in uh, TF and ZPK forms, both for the controller and the closed loop. Now the first task is to define a PID, define all the PID controllers that regulate the heat as desired using the dominant pole placements. Using algebraic methods only, your controller will be parametric. So what I mean by that is the following. We have a PID controller, we have a closed loop, you have a desired polynomial, and then you have this assignment problem. You're going to solve it, but then you will have a parameter, a free parameter, um, preferably one of the controller parameters, of course. And you can define the controller, the closed loop, in fact, everything in terms of that parameter. So that is the question here. Give the uh, FS, the, 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 the PID controller, in terms of the free parameter. And of course, you should be explaining it step by step again. And, uh, yeah, <coughs> what is the maximum dominance factor for the residue polynomial? So, we're considering the residue polynomial. Once you have completed Q1, you will transition into Q2 and look at the uh, residue polynomial. Because in Q1, we didn't choose actually a controller. We defined the family of controllers that assign the desired poles to the given specifications, to the given locations. But we didn't decide on, on anything else. Here we have the dominance factor, which means that we are looking at the real parts of the residue poles. The nearest to the origin should be far away. The, dom the dominance factor is basically the ratio between the real part of your desired polynomial uh, root uh, and the uh, closest to it, uh, the real part of that. So. For example, if you have minus 1 as the real part of the desired uh, poles, then we have minus 5 as the closest one, so it's going to be 5 times dominant. So that's basically the dominant factor here. So the question is, um, what is the maximum dominance factor for the raised polynomial? What is the maximum dominance factor for the zeros? So there are basically two maximum achievable dominance factors. If we try to maximize the dominance of the uh, desired poles compared with the residue poles, that's going to be one thing. Or we can try to push the zeros away as far as possible. That will give us a, do a different dominance factor in terms of zeros. So what are uh, these individually? So how much can I push the residue poles away? How many times the real part? and how many times the real part I can push the zeros away. You should analytically show uh, uh, how it is done and what is the maximum uh, there, what is the maximum dominance factor. And based on these two, what is the overall maximum dominance factor? Because we are trying to push all the zeros and the residue poles away. So uh, how much weight can I uh, assign them? What is the overall dominance factor? There's a dominance factor in terms of residue polynomial, dominance factor in terms of zeros. What is the overall maximum dominance factor? Now, once you have uh, done that, of course, you, show, uh, you should also give us the results of that maximum dominance factor. So there should be a controller, a closed loop, step responses, etc. You should pick a, a solution here. This is not just a question, you should answer the question and show the results here in Q2. <coughs> in Q1, we didn't have any results, it would just be parametric, but in Q2, there should be step responses, a, an ideal PID controller. Now in Q3, you are asked to rearrange your PID controller to get rid of the adverse effects of the controller's zeros and maximize the dominance factor of the desired poles. So this is basically um, a special question in this case, how can we get rid of the adverse effects of the zeros? How can we not care about the zeros of this 
whole system here without uh, losing the PID controller, but maybe changing stuff around. So this is a special question. You should immediately recognize what this means or understand what it means. If not, look into your notes. And then we also have the last question where we're asking for a model matching controller to regulate the heat as desired. This is quite simple. You should just do it at once and end up with a result. Of course, when you have some designs in Q2, Q3 and Q4, please provide a uh, the step responses, the pole zero maps, uh, so we can compare them. Or when uh, I look in your reports, you're going to prepare a PDF report. Um, uh, I should basically see, okay, this is FS in terms of this parameter, and this, these are the steps here. In Q2, I should see, okay, the residue maximum dominance factor is this, and it is calculated via this, and this is basically for the zeros, and we have chosen basically a maximum dominance factor overall like this, and the results are this, the step response, the pole zero map, etc. Here, I should see how we rearrange the PID controller and how uh, it kind of... Uh, uh, works compared to Q2. So here we should again have some uh, step responses and pole zero maps. And here we should ha also again have step responses, pole zero maps. So Q2, Q3, Q4 will have basically numerical and visual results provided in the report. So good luck.